Reporting to you live from the beach at Cayo Santa Maria here in Cuba. It's live from last week, episode 101. Let's go! Welcome, my fellow cheer walkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week I served you well. Just a quick shameless book before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. To lead off, we just have a couple of pieces of news to share with you guys. So, I don't know if y'all heard about the great lettuce shortage in Canada of 2022, where places like restaurants would outright say that they have minimal or even no lettuce to share with their meals. So yesterday, while I was home, I decided not to let this opportunity go to waste and chowed down on this big bag of lettuce and made it into a Caesar salad that I can have. And another piece of news, if you guys haven't yet heard, is that the 2022 World Cup Soccer Tournament had just started with the biggest upset to date. Where after being a 20 to 1 odds favorite to lose, the Saudi Arabian soccer team defeated the Argentinian soccer team Two to one. And guys, this result was so big that the Saudi Arabian government had declared tomorrow a national holiday. Anyways, moving on, do you guys remember this scene from last week's episode? Yesterday, I booked a trip to go down south to Cuba. Well, today, after getting this much sleep, that's right guys, you read that right, I had no sleep. Post night shift via the TTC, we headed our way down to Pearson International Airport with me traveling here for the first time since I went on that trip to Bali where at the gate, I may have found somebody that I knew. Mom, is that you? Tita Monet, is that you? And after I said bye to Tita Monet's twin over there, the wife and I got on our Sunwing flight on our plane where I was finally able to take a nap. Yeah, right guys, just look at this video. Who are we kidding? Anyways, if you're wondering where I am right now, with this beautiful hotel room in the background, I just wanted to let y'all know that the wife and I made it safe and sound here in Cuba. But before we wrap it up for the night and finally get some sleep from a whole day traveling, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with a fierce competitor who I remember playing soccer and basketball with back in high school. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Nathaniel. Happy birthday, Nathaniel. And secondly, we have a birthday greeting to my cousin who has upgraded to level 11. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Chloe. Happy birthday, Chloe. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So after a great first day here at Cayo Santa Maria, which actually started with a beautiful Cuban rainbow off in the distance, and some nice local secret mixed drinks that we were able to have. <laughs> stormy night. Se llama Stormy Night. <laughs> ¿Qué pone en, el, uh, en la bebida? Naranja, licor de menta, licor de refresco de naranja. Oh, gracias. Okay. Licor de granadina uh -huh. y ron blanco, vodka, puede ser. Oh, todo. <laughs> Cheers. Salud. We went down to the sports bar earlier today and with my official Canadian soccer jersey on a big screen along with other Canadians. Oh. We witnessed history watching the Canadian men's national soccer team play in the World Cup for the first time in 36 years. Oh, no penalty shot! Let's go! Let's go, Fonzie! <laughs> and as you guys can tell, even though we didn't come out with a win or the result that we wanted, our boys definitely played a very impressive game against one of the world's best teams. But anyways, on this quick four day trip, what I am planning to do after checking out the beautiful beaches here in Cuba. Wow, holy smokes guys, so beautiful here. Is make a quick recap music video of each and every day that I'm here. So here goes nothing. This is our first music video of the trip. 
But before we call it a night, we have a couple of birthday greetings. With the first one going out to one of my former FCAR friends who also plays volleyball. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Tax. Happy birthday, Tax. The next birthday shout out goes out to one of my BBG co-workers from back in the day. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Michael. Feliz cumpleaños. Next up, a birthday shout out to one of my old high school friends back at St. Stephen's. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Jillian. Happy birthday, Jillian. And last but not least, a birthday greeting to one of my old Wysik friends from back in university. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Luke. Happy birthday, Luke. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So, after a very productive second day here in Cuba, which was highlighted by playing tennis for the first time in what seems like a long, long time, I was able to play a full set of tennis with the tennis instructor in the hot 34 degree weather in Cuba. Hola, mi amigos. Esta es mi instructor de tenis, Jorge. Hello, mister. I am here. My student is very nice. It's excellent. Yay. <laughs> it's the best here after me, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this guy made me sweat so much in the Cuban sun playing tennis that my hat has sweat lines all the way up to the Blue Jays logo. But yeah, guys, here's the second music video in our Cuban holiday music video series. And before we wrap it up for the night, here are a couple of birthday greetings shot from our balcony earlier today. So today, live from my balcony here in Cuba, we have a couple of birthday greetings, starting off with a co-worker that I used to work with back at BBG. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Sarah. Happy birthday, Sarah. We next have a birthday shout out to one of my Ryerson University classmates. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Sonia. Happy birthday, Sonia. And last but not least, a birthday greeting to a friend that I made while going to dance class at Dean's Studio back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Corey. Happy birthday, Corey. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So on day three of our Cuba trip, highlighted by being in Santa Clara and Remedios, here is our quick music video of the day.
wonder who is going to break first, the crab or the human. <laughs> it's pretty cool, eh? It's so cool. Now back in the hotel room, we have a couple of birthday greetings. We first got a birthday greeting to one of my Titos in the Durham area. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Tito Mike. Happy birthday, Tito Mike. We've also got a birthday shout out to a friend that I made back when I was living at Wysik. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jen. Happy birthday, Jen. And last but not least, we got a birthday shout out to a couple of high school friends of mine. We got a birthday shout out to Ashley. Happy birthday, Ashley. And a birthday shout out to Nicole. Happy birthday, Nicole. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members at this time that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Good morning, guys. So before the wife wakes up this morning, I decided to take a quick morning stroll on the beach as I reminisce about this scene from one of last year's Live From Last Week episodes. And yeah, guys, that's right. Today is me and the wife's first year anniversary. So cheers to you wife. Happy first year anniversary with one year down and only forever to go. But anyhow, another reason why we're here in Cuba to celebrate is that today is also the wife's birthday. And going back to this scene exactly one year ago today, it's 11.57 on November 25th and it's somebody's birthday at midnight. So let's go surprise them. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I tried to continue that tradition of surprising the wife at midnight for her birthday with a surprise birthday cake and a candle to blow out at 12 o'clock. But unfortunately, when I asked my butler to see what we could do to celebrate the occasion at midnight, asking if we can get birthday cake and candles delivered to the room, because of the shortage of supplies here in Cuba, this year we just weren't able to surprise the wife with birthday cake at midnight. So now I'm just walking along the beach trying to figure out a plan B option on what I can do. So along with going to the restaurant and getting the wife her favorite Hugo de Melon, I ordered some breakfast in bed for the wife and I to enjoy for her birthday this morning. So unfortunately this morning, even after contacting the butlers, the breakfast in bed at 9 a.m. didn't show up. But at least the wife had enjoyed her melon juice that I delivered to her this morning. Here's a happy birthday drink. Okay. There you go. Cheers. Anyways guys, on to some birthday greetings from the balcony. Today, for the last time from the balcony in Cuba, we have a couple of birthday greetings. With the first birthday greeting going out to one of my classmates from my childhood. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Haley. Happy birthday, Haley. The next birthday shout out goes out to a fellow healthcare worker who I first met when we had our orientation at SickKids. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Becca. Happy birthday, Becca. We also got another birthday shout out to a friend that I made back at the Ryerson Catholic Chaplaincy. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Jason. Happy birthday, Jason. And last but not least, a birthday shout out to the person that I traveled all the way to Cuba with for our first year anniversary and her birthday this year. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Janelle. Happy birthday, wife. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. <laughs> and they're going to come back. That's too fast. Okay, you they're too fast. fast. No, oh, no, I said not too fast. Too fast. Oh, not too fast. Okay. Okay, that's it now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye Cuba. Gracias for having us. All right, on the tarmac, ready to catch our flight back home. Sad times, but you know, gotta go home sometime. Anyways guys, here is the music video for today. And we'll see you guys again tomorrow when we are back in Canada.
So last night after our Sunwing flight was delayed for over 30 minutes coming from Cuba, the pilot that was flying the plane almost made up for it by doing this amazing nighttime scenic flyover of the downtown Toronto area. A view that I can honestly compare to one of those private helicopter Toronto tours. But unfortunately, once we got into Pearson Airport, the airport had operational issues with our baggage and as I saw hungry and tired passengers just wanting to go home, all of us didn't get our baggage claimed from the carousel after almost two and a half hours after our plane had landed. So unfortunately, the wife and I eventually made our way back to Scarborough and after a very long day of travel, was finally able to pass out this morning at around 6 a.m. But luck we have it, guess who woke up exactly two and a half hours later to get started on their day? And adding insult to injury, guess whose beloved Samsung watch, the exact same one that I use to keep track of my sleep records, had finally decided not to work anymore. But enough of those negative things. The wife had actually cheered me up a little bit by giving me this nice little wedding anniversary gift for me to open this morning. A framed picture of all the constellations in the nighttime sky on the night of our wedding. Happy anniversary! Happy I really like the stars. Also, another thing about this morning was that our beloved Canadian men's national soccer team were playing their second game in the World Cup. Which I was checking out every once in a while with my brand new Canadian national men's soccer jersey. While we were having a celebratory birthday lunch with the Saga family, for the wife. But alas, against Croatia, for the boys, it just wasn't meant to be. And even though with a valiant effort, Team Canada wasn't able to pull out the win, it is now eliminated from the World Cup. But anyways, while we were making our way home, bringing a quick smile to my face, just guess who we saw hanging out at a balcony in a nearby apartment. But moving on, before I do a quick turnaround and go in for my first of my set of two night shifts tonight, Starting a span of five night shifts in six nights, we just have a couple of birthday greetings. Starting off with one of my friends who's an avid snowboarder and a fellow motorcyclist who I met playing beach volleyball with several years ago. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Raphael. Happy birthday, Raphael. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my elementary school and high school classmates from back in the day. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Carly. Happy birthday, Carly. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So after a decent night shift last night and getting the second parking spot in the parking garage at work, I'm recalling an event that happened to the Mini several episodes ago. I have two kilometers to find a gas station. Luckily, boom, across the street. I am saved. And well, check this out guys. Yesterday, while driving back to Scarborough, this is what happens when the Mini's gas gauge hits the number zero. Still driving. Luckily, I still had a couple of minutes to drive to the closest gas station and avoid having the Mini towed on an empty tank of gas. But anyways, this morning, post night shift, I'm planning to do a little grocery shopping and decided that since room service couldn't get me a cake and candles for the wife to blow out on her birthday, I'm gonna surprise the wife later on with her own birthday cake and birthday candles, surprising her on a day when she least expects it. And while we're on the topic of birthdays, we have several birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with this set of birthday twins who I remember hanging out with back in university. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jean, and you, Jaren. Happy birthday, Jean. Happy birthday, Jaren. 
We've also got a birthday shout out to an FSAT member who I also met in university. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Dion. Happy birthday, Dion. The next birthday shout out goes out to a friend that I made while going on a camping trip several years ago with that Filipino group. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Balde. Happy birthday, Balde. We've also got a birthday greeting to a university friend who I went clubbing with back in those days. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jillian. Happy birthday, Jillian. And last but not least, we got a birthday shout out to the mother of my nephew, Gabby. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Alba. Happy birthday, Alba. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps up this week's busy and jam-packed episode. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jaywalker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.